What's going on guys? Back working on the Hemi Swap Jeep Renegade. And uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank y'all for hanging in there. It's been almost a year since I've uploaded a video on this thing. And uh, yeah, it's been rough. Haven't given up on this project and uh, pretty happy to be jumping back into it. Have made a little bit of progress over the past, you know, nine months or so. And uh, I guess we'll take a walk around. Uh, start at the back, work our way to the front and uh, see what I've done. So, got the fuel system sorted pretty well in the back. I got the fuel lines, I got the vapor recovery lines, charcoal canisters tucked up in the wheel well, factory renegade location. So all that's gonna work. No check engine lights, no emissions issues, nothing like that. And fuel line and vapor return all routed to the front. And just kinda chilling, no, that's not good. I just left that sitting there. Oh well, definitely gonna have to clear those lines out since they've been sitting on the ground. But you can kind of see, I got the floor pan fully welded in. Uh, previously, I hadn't had the cross rails welded to the frame rails. So I uh, got that taken care of. Everything's secured, super solid. And you can actually, you know, hop up in there. Floor doesn't get all wonky. And you can see firewall still open. Yeah, that piece of sheet metal there, that's already pre-cut, ready to weld into the firewall. Guess we'll take a look up there real quick. Can't open that door. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, here's a better look. Everything's kind of welded in. Super solid. Yeah, that's, that ain't going nowhere. Try to hop in here. So, here's the water launch for the heater core. Be able to have some heat and AC, I did have to modify the AC lines. Can you even see it? Yeah, yeah, right here. Oh, auto focus. So I had to relocate the pressure sensor from here, down here. This was originally shooting off sideways, hitting the strut tower. That didn't work. And, oh yeah, brake master cylinders just chilling up there, out of the way, while I work on getting some patch panels, you know, fabricated, getting, oh, that's rusty, but, I gotta patch that in, get all that stuff sorted before I weld the firewall, that piece in. Because once I do that, I won't be able to get to anything at all. But if you notice, brake master cylinder is different than the last one I had in there. This one has remote mounted reservoirs, which, you know, I realized way too late, because, <laughs> you know, I'm a little slow, that if I did put it right here, I would never be able to fill it. And, uh, you know, that's not good. Ooh, and I did. Haha, <laughs> got a hood release. So now I don't have to crawl up underneath there and try to open the hinges myself. Ugh, that's, that's something else. So, still have to reach in here, release the hinge. There we go. And bam, that is different. So you can see, went ahead, made a little dual filter air intake. The factory one from the charger was hitting the front core support here and it just kind of looks stupid, hanging off on the side. And in order to make the filter fit, uh, would have had to have some oddball adapter and whatnot. And I figure if I'm gonna make an adapter, I might as well make an adapter. So, so I, I really like the look of it. Kind of a bad max you know, gas mask style. I'm digging it. You know, it looks over the top, so it, it fits the build pretty well. I don't remember if I had the expansion tank installed last time, but there's expansion tank for the cooling system and remote mounted reservoir for the brakes. I have to secure these lines somehow. Probably gonna build some type of support coming off and around. We'll figure it out when we get there. But you can see I got the AC lines. They're just kind of chilling, hanging there. And, uh, you know, definitely got to have AC. South Louisiana, stupid hot. So I'm, I'm sweating right now, doing nothing. And <laughs> so, can't see a whole lot. I'm gonna go ahead, rip the front bumper off. We'll take a look behind the curtain. All right, I'm not sure if this bumper will come off with the fenders installed, but we're gonna give it a go before I 
try to take those off. Yep. Okay, looks like it's working. I haven't actually tried this before. I usually just rip the fenders off and or they've just been not been installed at all. All right. There we go. Whole front end comes off. This one's going on the white one. Or the, uh, yeah, the other project. <laughs> so, I guess you can kind of see, got a couple oil coolers installed. The uh, AC condenser, solid mounted. Radiator's good to go. You know, not a whole, whew, seems like a whole lot of work, but it doesn't look like much. But come in a little tighter. Check out the actual details here. All right, so we got transmission oil cooler, engine oil cooler, AC condenser. You can see, made me a little bracket to hold the AC condenser because the factory transmission cooler was mounted up here, but that ended up hitting the actual front fascia of the Renegade. So had to make these little brackets here. So it secures it pretty well, wraps around the radiator, holds that expansion chamber thing. But, and this bracket here, pretty much same thing, wraps around the radiator, grabs the block, and uh, made a clamp on there. Works pretty good. I don't think, it's not gonna be seeing a lot of force anyway, but that thing's solid. All right, and as part of future proof in this build for when I inevitably drop the engine, went ahead and made a dry brake setup on the oil coolers. So that way, be able to disconnect top and bottom hoses, both sides, drop the engine out, and I don't have any spilled oil, which is, uh, you know, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll take a better look at this. All right. I guess we'll take a better look at this intake as well. You might be able to tell it is 3D printed. So that is ABS, pretty solid. I might go ahead and print that in uh, carbon fiber reinforced nylon. Uh, just like these brackets might uh, catch a trend here. I've started 3d printing some stuff Went ahead picked up a uh, bamboo lab x1 carbon and uh, You know just like everybody else Damn. So get that out of the way All right Try to pop this thing out Part of the cow was actually a seal for the windshield. So that thing's in there real good. And, oh, there we go. Trying to finesse this thing out. I think you just gotta twist it and pull it through. I installed these hood struts, so it's a little more difficult now. But, I mean, shit, I think one of the best mods for Renegade, these hood struts. Factory, doesn't come with anything, except a rod that pops up and it will fall down and crack your head open. <laughs> experience all right got that out oh there we go all right so take a better look we got the wiper assembly you can only go with one because engine's in the way which you know definitely have to have a wiper if this thing's going to be driven on the street at all it rains down here pretty much all the time so it's a must not a whole lot else going on. I think I had the EVAB system hooked up last time, but it purged solenoid, various components for the uh, vapor return, and I got a yeah PCV set up. It's pretty much it. Nothing really has changed engine-wise, other than you know just you know, the wiper installed, cooling, brakes, intake, oil system. And interior wise, got the floor all sealed up, except for the back half, which we'll get to that eventually. So I think that's going to wrap up this update. Thank you all for checking it out. Uh, definitely won't be as long for the next one. I already got stuff in the works. It's going to involve 3D printing, of course, and uh, 3D scanning. Went ahead, 3D scanned the dash of the Charger and the Renegade. Make it something work with that. So <laughs> also have to finish running the fuel lines from the back to the front. 
they're just kind of hanging underneath there. Already 3D printed brackets for that. So a lot of stuff in the works, but just really happy to be back working on this thing. Uh, it sucked not being able to be productive at all. You know, just, whew, yeah, take care of yourself. Health problems, it sucks, you know, uh, but I'm back, still getting at it. This project is definitely gonna get finished. I put in way too much work, time, effort, energy, everything just for it to be sitting here. So also working on a garage off to the side there, you probably saw it earlier, uh, converting my carport into a garage. That's been my primary focus past six months. So it's like 90% done uh, once I get it all you know, certified, inspected, all that shit, or all that stuff. <laughs> uh, then uh, be able to go in there. Right now it's a mess. Anyway, thank y'all for following along with the build. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one.